We've got two more battles. Are you guys ready for your next battle? This battle, I this next battle I am so excited for. This is a rematch. Ladies and gentlemen, this battle happened about a year ago. We had two of our best roast battlers go at it, and one of them, one of them just steamrolled the other one. And the other the battler that lost hasn't battled since then. This is their return to battling. They wanted to go at who is now our champion. All right. We've got two of the best that are going at it right now. Are you guys ready for our next battle? <laughs> Hell yeah. Everybody uh, making her return to Rose Battle. Make some noise for the very funny Heather Rose. <laughs> Sacramento champion. Are you ready to see him, everybody? All right. Make it loud for Logan Farr, everybody. All right, Heather, as your return to Roast Battle, I'm going to let you decide. Do you want to go first or defer? Well, first of all, I'm, a, I'm with Anthony. We need to stop booking battles based on body type. <laughs> I do like that we both brought the matching black heels, though. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go first? I'll defer. <laughs> <laughs> Logan's going first. Heather's going second, everybody. This is a rematch. Are you guys ready for our co-main event? <laughs> Heather hasn't spoken to me since our last roast. She hasn't, That's not hasn't true. spoken to her parents since her transition. Heather, how come every time you have a problem with something, you cut it off? <laughs> well, good thing I have no respect for an audience I can smell from the stage. Um, yeah, I don't care if you don't laugh. Half of you look like if you took your pants off, you'd leave skid marks on the seat. Now, Logan, I'm just making room so I can get your mom's uterus implanted here, and then I'll fuck your dad and abort your brothers. <laughs> but more importantly, you said I'm not talking to my parents. That's just not true. I actually, you know what? Why am I even bothering to explain anything to this guy? This is what happens when a woman tries to explain to a man how trains work. <laughs> that was a run-on joke. I know you don't understand. Oh, you should be used period. to getting interrupted by trains by now, shouldn't you? I know, you oh! I know you don't understand what a period is. <laughs> I know exactly what a period is. <laughs> Heather is built like I know dick. exactly what a period is. The last comic looked like a period. But I'm bum. The guy in red, yeah. Heather's built like my dick. Thin, white, and used by the desperate. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like your mom. But I'm bum. Thin, white, and used by the desk. Wait, what was that? I, no, oh, I is said it they my heard turn? It. Yeah, yeah. What was the joke again? No, they heard it. It was... <laughs> women are normally so good at listening. Okay. Um. God, this audience is really transphobic. Um, so listen. Listen, I just wanted to check in with you. The last time I talked to you, I said that I hope you got hit by another train. Yeah. And you said you hoped so too, because you didn't want to be here. Yeah. And I just, <laughs> I just want to make sure that's not true, right? No, it was true. You really do. See, like, I'd rather die than live as a man, but I really want to be here. I don't want to die. I'm really scared. So if you want to die, like, that hurts me. I'm really scared. Like, I don't, uh, anyways, my joke is, uh, Logan, his last name is Far, but that's not where he's getting. Um, <laughs> you like that one? I have no respect for this audience. Heather, I'm so happy you're no longer homeless, because I know you would struggle pitching tents. <laughs> Logan Farr's dick is so small. He can pop out a SIM card with it. Oh! Logan Farr's dick is so small, in fact, that's why he cut his, his feet off. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm
stumble through that one. What, he thinks that men cut their dicks off to cheat at sports, so I wouldn't put it past him to be overcompensating a little bit. He's like the youth pastor that gives you wine and then uses his nubbies to fuck your pussy like he's kicking a soccer ball. Because I'm a winner. <laughs> Heather's nickname is The Sun because she's hard to look at. In conclusion, I don't give a fuck about who wins this roast battle. I have no respect for these formats. I have no respect for this audience. As we've covered, you guys would laugh as I got dragged off to a camp. I love you guys, but I also have no, I don't care about your opinion of me either. I don't care if I win or lose this thing. But this motherfucker, you know what I'm here for? I'm here for my rights. I'm here for my friends. This motherfucker is so bad at sports that he wants to force trans women to compete with him so that he doesn't get last place. Agreed. Well, I'm here to show you that he'll get his ass kicked by a trans woman too. Also, this is, um, this is not a photo of Logan Farr. This is just a photo of all the, uh, uh, this is just a photo of all the combined faces of the men on the sex offender registry. Um, I'm just going to pass this around. Thanks. <laughs> all right. One more time for this, uh, Bud Light argument come to life. <laughs> Logan Fuck you, Bud Light's great. <laughs> Heather Road. <laughs> Holy shit. This was uh, Oscar Pistorius versus Oscar S Pisses Sitting Down. So. <laughs> I loved it. You guys got three legs between the two of you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this was a fun battle. Hey, speaking of Oscar, was that shit scripted or not? What the fuck? Okay, good. I was worried for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Go ahead and pick a winner. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid too politically. <laughs> I, uh, I, um. Um. I, uh... Kyrie, you get a pass. You can make a choice. <laughs> My we lawyer uh, says that uh, <laughs> Heather won uh, because, you know, Heather is brave and we encourage <laughs> Heather for being here today and we support Heather's journey and um, this straight white devil male should... <laughs> Should burn in hell, uh, even though I found your jokes to be more funny and hilarious. <laughs> Politically, uh, Heather wins uh, for me. So, one vote for Heather Rug <laughs> because Kyrie wants to still get booked. Uh, <laughs> Anthony Zaccaro, notoriously not getting booked. Wh who's your winner? Uh, as Kyrie's counsel, I uh, <laughs> I second everything he just said. Um, but uh, but <laughs> are you all right, man? <laughs> Is that Logan's mom booing? <laughs> Do you have your legs, Miss? Do you have yours? Oh my God, that was there was a lot of. A lot of anger uh, 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 up there. A lot of anger. Uh, but when you s you two have so much in common, uh, Heather transitioned. Logan's legs transitioned. <laughs> he got hit by a train, people. That's a fucking hilarious joke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys don't even realize. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, fuck it. I already don't get booked, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> One vote for Heather, one vote for Logan. Closing thoughts, Paige Wesley. Who do you got taking this one? Uh, I'll agree. There was a lot of anger on the stage tonight. Um, Heather, 
you had great jokes, but I think sometimes the anger overshadowed them. And when you kind of calmed down and just told the joke, it was fucking hilarious. And I think that kind of distracted it for me a little bit. I thought Logan was a little more consistent, so I'm going to go with Logan. But Leather, (laughs) not Leather, (laughs) Heather, (laughs) you were hilarious as well. This was not like just, this was not an easy win. This was very neck and neck for me. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, (laughs) It was very neck and Adam's apple. Uh, (laughs) God damn it. All right. One more time for Heather Rogan, your winner, Logan Farr, everybody. Great job, Heather. Great job, Logan.